Oh, uh, welcome, Waffle Wolf Wolfettes. So we are back with the brilliant bug snacks on the PlayStation 5, and I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in the last video, we focused primarily on doing a bunch of side missions. We headed back to Flavor Falls and we gathered up a bunch of meaty bug snacks that we then fed to Chandlo because Chandlo wants to become even more buff so he can remove a tree stump with his bare hands so he can build a basketball court. So we did that. We also went back to the starting area and we collected a couple of Subway sandwich bug snacks and we fed them to Wiggle because Wiggle is trying to eat bug snacks to inspire her to write a new hit single. So we did that. And we also had to collect a bunch of, I think they were gummy bears in packets, like snack pods of gummy bears, if I remember correctly. We had to collect those for um, Befica because she had an argument with Cromdo and she was feeling a little bit down in the dumps. And as we all do, when we all feel sad, we stuff a load of snacks in our mouth to help us feel better. So that's what Befica was doing. And I think that's all we really did in the last video. I'm not sure if we did anything else, but I think that was about it. So what we're going to be doing today is I think Befica has once again got another snooping mission for me. And uh, we need to talk to Philbo to carry on with the main storyline because I think we've got to collect or rescue, I should say, or persuade to come back to Snacksburg, two more characters. I think Floofity, that weird scientist woman that gave me the injection, and uh, Shelda. And we've also got a mission still for Cromdo, who wants me to get him a Buffalocust, so he can trade it with Triffany for a map or something. But um, we can't get the Buffalocust yet, because we need to go to the desert area where Shelda is, and we won't be going there for quite a while yet. But let's have a chat with Bethika. See what she wants me to do. Probably some midnight mission again. And then once that's done, we will talk to Philbo. Where's Befica gone? Has she run off to the toilet? Nope, I guess it was Snorpy that ran to the toilet. Where's Befica? Befica? <laughs> Is she gone? I mean, if she... Oh, you're snooping on Lisbeth and Egabel now, you flipping snoop. <laughs> Normally she's in Philbo's house. You're right, Befica, how are you doing, you little shit? Look, you see, you see her foot and her arm has been turned into gummy bears. <laughs> is it snooping time again? Of course it bloody is. Hey, bestie. Now that Snorpy and Chandlo are back, it's Toad's snooping time. I never got any dirt on Chandlo. He's got to have some deep, dark secret, but whatever it is, he's too good at hiding it. If anybody can find their way through that buff facade, it's you, Bestie. <laughs> please stop calling me Bestie and please stop winking at me like that. Alright, find out what Chandlo does at midnight. Alright, we might as well do that now quickly because it literally takes 10 seconds. Sleep to midnight and then spy on them. <laughs> Very easy. So we'll quickly get that done and then we'll talk to Philbo. But in terms of Lisbeth, I think the only information we've really received so far that's been of any use has been uh, from Snorpy, who mentioned that Lisbeth found a mysterious door and then she went to Snorpy trying to find out how to open it with his help. And then I think that's the last they heard of her. So she's gone out hunting for bug snacks, she's found a mysterious door, and then she's gone missing after opening it. So that's sounding a very, very suspicious at the moment. And I think uh, I've gotten several different like clues about the door as well. I don't know if I've got several or just one at the moment, but I've gotten a few about the, how to open the door and stuff like that. And I've also received a few maps telling me of locations of where I can find like film reels that sort of talk about Lisbeth and Egabel's relationship and that. So we've gotten a couple of clues, but the best clue we've gotten so far is that Lisbeth found a mysterious door shortly before she went missing. So that's our biggest lead so far. What are you doing? <laughs> the great thing about being Chandlo, what you see is what you get. I got nothing to hide. No shame. You checking out this beef, bro? I don't blame you. <laughs> well, you can see Chandlo has been turned into quite a few bug snacks now because I've been uh, having to help him get buff and he's been asking me to feed him a bunch of different bug snacks. <laughs> All right, well, let's go tell Befica. I'm actually going to wake Befica up because if she's going to be such a little snoop, she doesn't deserve to get any sleep. She deserves to be woken up in the middle of the night. I love how they roll out of bed. 
Chandler has no secrets. What? Shut up. Nobody is free of dirt. The more innocent somebody looks, the nastier the secret. Trust me. I have an idea. We're going to go through Snorpy. Nobody knows Chandler like Snorpy. I need you to turn me into green bug snacks. I'll tell you why later. <laughs> turn Befika's arms into green snacks. Just her arms. So we need to find some green snacks. To be honest, we might as well do this later. Because after we talk to Floofity, uh, she's going to upgrade our injection. And uh, we'll be able to pretty much change change the Grumpuses into any of the bug snacks they've previously eaten. So we're only going to have to find one green bug snack, feed it to her, and then we can change all other four pieces of her arm into the same bug snack. So we might as well do that later and we'll save a bit of time. Right, so we're going to quickly have a sleep and then we'll talk to uh, Philbo and then see what we're going to be doing next. Can't actually remember what we're going to be doing next. I know we still need to find Floofity the scientist and Shelda in the desert and Eggabelle and Lisbeth, obviously, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't remember what Philbo wants to speak to me about. Oh god, look at this. It's a very misty morning. Oh no, it's raining. <laughs> it's raining. It's good when it rains in this game sometimes, because like I've already mentioned, there are certain bug snacks that you can only find in the rain. So, uh, when it rains, make sure you run back to all of the old areas and have a look around because there could be new bug snacks that you've not seen before. So, uh, when it rains, check out all the new, all the areas you've been to before. How you doing? Like, I think, uh, I think it actually says it on here, actually. Where is it? I think it's this one right here. Is this Flavor Fall? Flavor Falls. Yeah, this one right here. This is one that only appears in the rain. I can't remember exactly what it is, but it only appears in the rain. Oh, actually, I think I know what it is. I think it might be a caramel pop ticks. You know those little popcorn ones that we caught a couple of videos back? I think it was, it was for Wiggle. But uh, yeah, these are like caramel pop ticks, and you only find them in the rain. So if you're in Flavor Falls and you've got to find this one creature, it's pop ticks, and they're inside that cave where that little statue was. Oh, we also helped Triffany in the last video. She wanted to go and do some exploring, and we went to Flavor Falls with her to find some like statues and stuff. So we also did that in the last video. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> oh God. Oh, what's shaking, baby? You're right, mate. How you doing? We've almost got everybody. You're doing a great job, buddy. But hey, don't forget to take care of yourself. In fact, maybe you should turn in early today and just relax. Good idea. I mean, it's pretty much like, I think it's like one o'clock in the afternoon, so that's very early to turn in, but, you know, all right. <laughs> huh. Something's wrong, buddy. We better take a look. Oh, I hope Befika is dead. I really hope Befika died. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, it better not be like the ghost stories. I don't want none of this again. Hey, look up on that sign. No more bug snacks. Oh, no. <laughs> Befika, Ramble, what happened? Ooh, we saw something real spooky walk right into town. I thought it was a grumpus at first, but, like, something about it was wrong. Was this creature wearing a crown, by any chance? Or was it perhaps holding some sort of ceremonial dagger? What? No, no nothing like that. It looked kind of normal until it... Oh, until it... It turned into a bunch of bug snacks and, like, scattered. Frankly, I find that hard to swallow. <laughs> ah, what a load, Beth. Not enough drama around town for you lately, huh? Zonk off, Cromdo. Unlike you, I don't lie for a living. Oh, wow. So tell me then, what were you doing skulking around at midnight? Breaking in the huts? Again? I seen it too. And this time I know it's not just one of my nightmares. Get some grump and sleep, Gramble. I can't. Not with all of y'all around here with your hungry mouths. Don't take this the wrong way, darling, but you are a bit high strung. 
A little beauty sleep would do you wonders. Maybe then you'd finally let us eat a few pets. You say that again. Don't get off me. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Slap fighting. The grump out, bros. There's no need for all that. If what Bramble and Befica are saying is true, there's got to be some physical evidence left behind. Yeah? Indeed. We should sweep the perimeter and keep watch in case the creature returns. Um, uh, good idea. Uh, buddy, do you think you can scope out the restroom? You know, find out what they saw? <laughs> oh, man, I don't want to go to the restroom. You lot don't stop using the bloody restroom. There's something wrong with you all. <laughs> and for some reason, you bag up your shit. Because we had to collect some fertilizer from you and you didn't know what we were up to. And then I went in the toilet and you bagged up your own crap for some reason. It was kind of weird, Phil, bud. I mean, you are my mate, but it was a bit weird, buddy. <laughs> Have they taped off the, uh... Yeah, look, they taped it off so I'm not allowed to leave. <laughs> Forcing me to stay here and investigate. I like how everybody is split up into groups and they've all got this, like, very, very, like grumpy expression on their face, look. <laughs> Scan the area for clues and talk to Philbo. Okay. The words, no more bug snacks, are carved crudely into the camp sign. Messy, poor-like prints lead from the edge of Snacksburg to the garden. Oh. Oh, shit. I thought that was a knife then. It's just a little shovel. A rusty spade discarded near the sign. Smells like snacks. This lock has been busted open. Something got inside the ranch. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if all of this was wiggle, to be honest, because we know she broke in here once to eat a few bug snacks and we, we, and we caught her at midnight, didn't we? <laughs> I bet it's you, innit? I bet it's you. You do look a little bit suspicious, wiggle. <laughs> I love all their expressions. Messy, poor-like prints lead from the garden to the outhouse. Bug snacks tracks scatter from where the grumpus tracks stop. Yeah, because they said they saw something that looked like a grumpus, but weird, and then it burst into a million bug snacks. So there's some sort of like combination of bug snacks walking around. And I guess it's telling people not to eat any more bug snacks, maybe because it, you know, protects them. And maybe it broke into the ranch to release all the bug snacks. Although it looks like they were still in there a minute ago, I'm not too sure though. There's something creepy going on. And I'm the one out there exploring on my own all the time. All you lot are in Snacksburg, all safe and sound. I'm the one out there on my own, ready to be jump scared by St. Dodgy. Because I've already mentioned this, but there is a, uh, a um, snack squash or something in this game. And uh, it's something that it can appear at any time, just like peeking at you and you can scan it for a trophy. But uh, like I've already mentioned, there is going to be a, a, a point in this game where you'll just see it anyway and you'll be able to scan it then. So don't worry if you don't see it, you can still get the trophy. But yeah, it's, it's creepy when you do see it, because you can see like silhouettes of it like behind you and things like that. But I don't think I've ever seen it. I've never noticed it. I'm trying to keep my eyes open for it on YouTube. But yeah, it's, it is pretty creepy. You found what you were looking for? All right, I'll call everybody together. Yes, I'm ready. Well, w w what did you find? These are tracks that aren't quite grumpus. Something left a deadly message behind. It's probably aliens. <laughs> All right, we'll go with the top one. Why is everyone looking at me so angrily? And Snorpy, stop looking me up and down, mate. Well, that's... Um, I reckon there's got to be some other explanation. Cram it, Wampo. We got a genuine monster on our paws. Hmm. Monster's a bit of a prejudicial term, don't you think? I'd call it more of a cryptid or undiscovered animal. It's no animal, darling. 
We're witnessing the queen of bug snacks in action. She's given us a warning! Oh, that is absurd. Which is more likely, that a so far unseen giant bug snack politely left a note on our door, or that this is some form of coordinated gaslighting by the Grumpenut... What's more likely, dear, is that you've watched far too many movies. <laughs> Well, at least my theory has scientific data behind it, whereas you haven't even drawn one chart. I was top of the charts, thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what? Let's split the difference, eh? You're both wrong. Uh, what does it even matter? Whatever it is, it wants us dead. Between this and the earthquakes, Snacksburg's becoming pretty unlivable. I hate to say it, bro, but I regret coming down from the mountain. Me and Snorpy were a lot safer before we came back. Same goes for me and my little ones. Oh, no, no. We shouldn't split up again. We're better off if we're all here together. That might have been true when Lisbert was around, but those days are long gone. Y you don't know that. She might come back. <laughs> don't hold your breath, pal. Face it, Philbo. Without Lisbert, all we have is you. Shut up, that's, that's not true. Listen, I don't know why Lisbert put me in charge, but I do know this. None of you were really happy out there alone. We don't have Lisbert, but we have each other. Maybe if we try, we could all add up to one of her. Uh, I guess you're not wrong. So we're all staying in town then? Seems like it. As long as we can watch each other's backs. If we're gonna make it, we need everybody here. Floofty and Sheldar are still out there, and, and, and who knows if they're safe. If you must find Floofty, according to the tracking device I placed on them, they're out by Boiling Bay. And the last time I saw Sheldar, she was meditating in the sizzling sands. But don't forget about Egabel. If she's not with Lisbeth, we gotta find her. We will, Chandlow. And once we do, we'll throw a big welcome back party. How does that sound? Oh, okay. <laughs> Great! Now, let's go get some sleep. Flipping up, see, I go to bed early. I go to bed early for a change, and this is what happens. This is why I don't sleep, Philbo. This is why I stay awake all the time. Alright, so we've got to find Flufferty, and we've got to find Shelda, as I already thought. Um, I think to get to Boiling Bay, I think we just need to go back to the beach, and then I think there's like a boat that had like a door on it, and the door's gone now, so you can go to Boiling Bay. Uh, looks like Chandlow's got another mission for me by the looks of it. There's going to be quite a lot of side missions that are going to start popping up soon. Chandler? Right, I see what Chandlow wants quickly. Still stumped? <laughs> yeah, because he's still trying to remove that tree stump, ain't he? Yeah, bro. I'm not getting any stronger. Wasn't pushing hard enough. Maybe it's the bug snacks. We went way too small, you feel me? I've been hearing rumors about this monster snack out in the forest. Wamba said it was so huge, no Grumpus alive could lift it. Sounds like the ultimate workout. Let's catch it, bro! Ah, oh, I know what this is gonna be. I think this might be one of the first legendary bug snacks that you meet. And it's going to take a bit of time to do this. Right, we're not going to do this just yet because I won't have enough time to get that done. So you have to hold on a minute, mate. We'll do it in the next video, okay? Chanlo, next video, okay? Promise. <laughs> in the next, like, 10, 15 minutes, we'll do it. Grumdo! Hi. What are you looking at? <laughs> uh, what should we do then? Let's see if anyone else has got any missions for me to pick up. It tells you on the quest log if there's missions for you to uh, collect. Yeah, Snorpy's also got one for me. Snorpy saves the world. Alright, let's go find Snorpy. Oh, there he is. You alright, Snorp? How you doing, mate? How's it going, Snorpy? Look at his teeth, you bloody Oreo teeth. Ah, chum! Good to see you on this ordinary tyranny free day. Let us talk pleasantly of the weathers. <laughs> yes, the weathers, wink. I've discovered something terrible. My seismic readings show that activity in the mountain is growing stronger and more frequent over time. We must find the source of the quakes before the situation grows out of control. 
There is an unusually large bug snack on the mountain that I'm certain is involved. The formidable Scoopy Banoopy. Disassemble it and dispose of the components in my mouth, and once more we will have thwarted the Grumpanati. <laughs> ah, the Scooby Banoopy. These flipping things are a bloody nightmare. These Scooby Banoopies. They actually can as three separate bug snacks because you've got the Scooby Banoopy and then I think I think it's another one of those frosty kind of bug snacks and then you have to uh, break it up and when it breaks up it turns into I think just a Scooby and that might be uh, like a, a bunch of ice cream but it counts as a different bug snack and also a cherry also comes out of his body as well and I think that's called a cheery or something and uh, you can find that as well after you blow up the Scooby Banoopy pretty much. It's a flipping nightmare. So you have to try and melt the Scooby Banoopy and then catch it before it explodes to get the Scooby Banoopy. That's the bloody hard bit. I think uh, Granball might have a... Oh, I thought Granball had a mission for me. Right, let's, uh, let's see if we can go and catch this Scooby Banoopy quickly. We have to go to a brand new area though. We have to go up to the top of the mountain. I don't know. I've got all of my uh, gadgets unlocked now, so we should be able to capture it. Bloody honeybees. I for dragging you into this mess again. I will take care of this issue myself if I weren't so spindly and reclusive. Uh. I know what you're thinking. Why don't I just ask Chandler? But I could never do that. Chandler was far too pure. He's not ready for this world of chaos and turpitude. What are you two doing here? <laughs> I just literally saw you both in tan. How the hell did you get ahead of me? Wow! Five hours go by pretty fast when we're working together, Wambi. And now that the avalanche is cleared away, we can go explore the top of the mountain. Trivi, I'm almost 50, and my back's at least 100. Let's go lie down for a spell. Right, my dog's going crazy, so I'll be back in a sec. Oh, sorry about that. Flipping dog was going crazy. I guess someone knocked on the door and walked away. I'm not too sure what was going on. But yeah, I'm going to have to end the video now. So yeah, thanks for watching Wolf Morbets. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.